Hello guys, welcome back to Harry Makes It Up. We are in my office where I have tried to make some resemblance of a style rack. Um, this is the video I've been promising to make for far too long and for that I'm sorry. Today I'm going to be talking my spring summer style. Some of these pieces are new, some are old, donkey's years old, but are loved nonetheless. To give you a quick kind of recap I guess of my style, I feel like how I buy clothes is based on how they make me feel. So my only kind of factor that I, my main factor should we say when buying clothes is how does it make me feel and I want them to make me feel epic. If they don't, they're not worth wearing. It's as simple as that. Um, obviously I want to be comfortable, um, but I always refer to the term badass. That's kind of my vibe. That's how I want to feel on a day to day. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the things I'm gonna show you. Um, and I think style is for everyone. Everyone should enjoy clothes. Same as makeup, have fun with it. You know the drill. So um, there's a lot to show you in this maybe very long video. So I'm gonna do my best not to uh, over talk, but that probably will happen. Um, so first off, the most fundamental part of my wardrobe that will forever be, I think, something I always wear and is a big part of my comfort zone and in feeling good is blazers. I've always worn blazers since as young as I can remember, me and my sister would scour charity shops. We would always get those like 80s M&S ones with the big shoulder pads. I still love those. Um, and things have, you know, there's been a bit more progress on the blazer front, but some I buy now really are kind of like pieces I hope to have forever. So the first piece I'm gonna show you guys is from Sandro. This is the most beautiful navy blazer. It's very manly fitting. It has like the slightest bit of fit in the center and then it just kind of falls. It's got these oversized sleeves as well that I love slightly rolled up. And I think for me, navy is a nice dark tone to have a spring summer. Um, it's that slightly bit softer than black, but I still like to have one dark blazer in my wardrobe for spring summer. Um, this piece is gorgeous. Sandro for me really is like my kind of go-to treat label if I want something that I love. However, that being said, I am definitely someone who likes an outlet and most of my Sandro pieces, if not all of them, I think I've brought on sale. Um, this Sandro piece I bought from Century 21, it should have been $700 and I managed to get it for $166. So that was a steal um, and hopefully that will be a piece that lasts me for forever. The next piece I have, I am very pleased to say, and you will be too, um, I found this in a charity shop when I was at home in Devon and visiting my in-laws and my husband. And my biggest tip for finding kind of oversized, more um, androgynous pieces is literally just go to the menswear in charity shops because they have the best selection. And often you'll find tailored pieces, pieces that have high wool content or just a higher quality fiber. And they're always cheaper than the women's blazers. I don't know why, but this one I brought and it's super long line. I rolled the sleeves up. It's a beautiful gray fabric, which I know seems quite heavy for spring, but I feel like this will double up nicely as kind of an evening jacket when it's a little bit chillier in the evening. Now, if there's one brand that really kind of has my heart and I get really excited about visiting, it would be the Frankie Shop in New York. Um, there's also one in Paris and you can shop online. And this is my first piece I ever brought from the Frankie Shop. Um, I've had this about two years now. It's still in pristine condition. It's by um, a designer called Matilda Antherleon. <laughs> Brilliant pronunciation as always, guys. Um, it's got a lovely kind of blue and kind of like mushroom check throughout. It's my only single breasted blazer I own. Well, actually the gray one I have from the charity shop is. Um, but generally I do tend to find I go for more kind of double breasted blazers. But this I love, again, you'll see it's quite got like an oversized fit, but it's so thin. So really, really comfortable for spring summer. So the next blazer was a new addition. This was a new purchase from the Frankie shop. I ordered this online and thank God when it came, I loved it as much as I did on the model because that's always where it can go wrong, can't it? Um, I really wanted a linen blazer to add to my collection for this spring summer. And this one is by Kiki Love. But like I said, this was from the Frankie shop. It's beautifully oversized, not too much. It's like just around right amount of oversized. The linen feels like a really nice sturdy quality, but still will be nice and cool throughout the spring summer months. And I did put a poll on Instagram regarding two blazers from the Frankie store because I couldn't decide. And I'm not gonna lie, I did buy both. Um, so that was the first one I brought. The second one I brought was this piece. This was by a brand called Comete. 
Comatee, Comatee, not sure. Um, also from the Frankie store. And this one was the other one I put on Instagram, which was a slightly lighter linen wash, more of like a stone finish, cream stone. And the difference between the two, actually when they're on, you'll see it's quite different. The other one is definitely more oversized and a bit more masculine. This one I would say has a more fitted vibe and it's slightly shorter. So trust me, I know you're seeing a lot of blazers right now, but like I said, they are the kind of core part of how I dress on a day-to-day -day basis. So they will both get used and very much loved and it will be nice to not feel like I'm wearing the same jackets all the time. So when it comes to denim, I did need to purchase some new pairs of denim because I've actually uh, gone down a size recently. So they were things that I knew were kind of worth getting so that they, you know, jeans have to fit right, let's be honest. Um, so these pair are from Levi. These are the wedgie fit. They are just, as far as I'm aware, the standard wedgie fit because there are different variations. Um, they are the medium wash. And for me, I like the wedgie fit more than like the 501 or the rib cage because I think when you've got curves like I have, I need a bit of a tapered leg for me to get that badass feeling. <laughs> so again, go with whatever makes you feel that way. But for me, I like more of like a cigarette cut, more of a tapered leg, even if it's still quite straight. Um, really, really love those. I think these are a nice kind of daytime jean. They kind of hit just around my ankle, so a bit more cropped um, and really nice for spring summer. So the other brand that I'm really loving for my body shape at the minute, believe it or not, is Zara. Now I never, it's weird, I've gone like down a size in jeans and before they just didn't fit me at all and now they really do. So I don't know what's up with that. I would love them to do more sizing generally. But these are the mum jean and they've got a really nice kind of distressed feature um, at the, it's not a raw hem, but it's definitely kind of like a distressed finish around the pockets, around the leg. And this is a very long leg on me, which I love. I feel like when I kind of add these, as you'll see in a minute, with like a dressier shoe and a white tee, it really makes me feel like it's a nice evening look that still has like a casual feel to it. So I love the way these jeans fit. They look like really good quality old vintage denim, but I think I paid about $40 for these. So um, I think I'm probably gonna even get some more of these because they're really, really good. So I know it might seem like a kind of boring purchase, but I think for me, white tees are something I really rely on the high street for, especially because working as makeup artists, they don't stay white for very long. Um, and I also find that no matter how good I think I'm doing with not being too sweaty betty, I always get the kind of yellowy mark there. So I would rather, this is the one product that, one item of clothing I find it harder to kind of like get a forever piece with because of the color. Um, this one was from Zara, I think it was like $10, and it's got a slight ribbed texture to it, which I love, and I really like the rounded detail on the collar. It feels more like a high-end t-shirt. Um, I like the ribbed t-shirt as well with the denim, and I find white tees I will buy like maybe like two or three of, like each season, because literally that's how long they last on me, sadly. I know that sounds wasteful, but if I could get away with them looking white, each season or if anyone has any tips for keeping white clothes white let me know in the comments below um, but sometimes like I said I get lipstick on them from work or something like that but I think a white cool uh, cotton tee is really important for spring summer especially if you want to be comfortable so the other place I really like to shop for kind of basic pieces um, especially where tops are concerned is Uniqlo so these shirts I think are like a rayon fabric um, very, very comfortable, and they, they kind of don't need ironing, which is the dream. Um, and I love these kind of tucked into jeans, like I'm wearing now with a nice belt. Again, you can dress them up with a heel for evening, you can wear a flat with them. They're a really, really vers versatile piece, and I have this in like navy and black as well. It's a piece I kind of always buy throughout the year, um, just because I get so much wear out of them. And then being sleeveless, again, just makes them really comfortable for spring summer. So if we're talking about trousers, obviously denim kind of goes without saying. Um, the other piece I do tend to include into my wardrobe is denim shorts. Um, these were also from Zara. These are, I think these are called, doesn't say. <laughs> They're like the mum fit jean version of a short and I brought these in several different washes just because I thought these would be a nice addition for summer. And finding shorts for my body shape, I've always found tricky in the past, especially ones that kind of don't show your bum and aren't too short. These are perfect, they're high-waisted, they kind of even roll down longer if you want them to because they have this kind of uh, rolled up leg so you can actually roll them down more if you want them even longer. Love those. Um, but the other option I want to show you guys that I brought is a trouser that's incredibly lightweight, another Zara find. I, I did do a lot from, Zara's like really worked for me this season. Um, so these are like a khaki, kind of like the paper basket waist that everyone's going crazy for 
but I always think of it like you could eat a turkey dinner in them and that's good. And a pattern you'll notice with me, if I love something a lot, I do tend to buy it in other colors. Um, because like I said, the blazer t-shirt thing is kind of my comfort zone. I can just swap around the shorts or the trouser. Um, and this color is like a cream stone that's really, really beautiful. So these two together, I think I will get a lot of wear out of. Um, and they're just a nice alternative to denim. So let's talk dresses. Now this was a piece I picked up recently. This is from Reformation and this is like a kind of casual tea dress. But what I like about this is it's not fitted. It's kind of like quite a loose fitting. It has a casual vibe that could totally be dressed up with pumps, etc. Um, I like the idea of it like little white sepegras would be really nice. There's little trainers, like white pump trainers. Um, and it's just super comfy. Now this is about as short as I would go for a day dress and feel comfortable in it still. It's got little pockets. Again, the fabric is so lightweight that it's really, really comfy. Um, and that was a new purchase. I thought I would kind of uh, add like one more dress into my spring summer wardrobe. Then a dress I'm kind of including my wardrobe again for this spring summer, which you will have seen on my Instagram so much because I wore this. I mean, this was high street and it's really lasted. This was also Zara. Zara just seems to be doing really well for me at the minute. Um, this was, it was just like a little gingham. I don't know what you call these. Like I call them tent dresses because they're so comfy. Again, you can eat a turkey dinner in them. Do you see a pattern emerging? Um, so, so comfortable. I love the kind of romantic feel of it. Again, I feel like you could smarten it up. You could wear them with white plimsolls. And it was such a comfy dress, but also it was nice when it was super hot and I didn't want to burn, especially when I was on shoots and stuff and I felt like I was out in the desert all day. This was quite nice to kind of have some cover up and not risk getting burnt. Um, I also brought this in red when I brought this one, like I think I brought this like three years ago now and I just wear it to death and probably will continue to wear it to death. So this item, um, I will insert a photo of, this is a jumpsuit, which I brought from Reformation in the sample sale. I think I bought this about a year ago now, and it's just a really, really pretty wide leg trouser with a nice soft kind of cami top. And it does have like the straps that you can make bigger or larger. Or can you do that? Yes, you do, can. I was just thinking that I was like, can you? Yes, you can, they're at the top. So you can tighten the straps. I find it again, a really nice one for like weddings or occasion wear, but it's also super comfy. And um, I just really like the print on this as well. I think this is nice for winter or spring, summer. So it's quite a good universal piece that I tend to get out time and time again. So the other piece that you guys will have seen over on my Instagram was this piece I ummed and ahed about. Um, this was also a new purchase. Now this is from Reformation and disclaimer, this is a pair of pajamas. However, you know how I said earlier, like I love suits, I love tailoring, I love blazers. Like my happy place really would be that if I could afford to, I would just have like all my clothes tailor made, that would be the dream. Um, and have like matching co-ord suits, like a whole wardrobe full. Like that's literally the dream for me. I saw this and so this is the top. Um, you're gonna see me wearing it with the shorts in a minute. And I just loved it. I just thought straight away, it felt like vintage Ralph Lauren. It felt very like 1920s. I felt like croquet vibes, which I was really into. And um, I just thought this would be such a nice kind of like comfy little suit when it's really, really hot. Again, imagine it with little white plimsoll trainers would be really cute, but then also with like the tan heels you'll see me wearing it with, it makes a really nice kind of day suit smart outfit. Um, and it's really, really comfy. So don't be afraid to get out your comfort zone, you know, look at pajamas, you never know, they might make a really good summertime suit. And the other good thing about this as well that I love is I can also use this to double up as an extra top. So if I'm packing and I want to kind of carry minimal amount of clothing, um, then this is a great one because obviously I can wear it as the suit one day, then I can use the top on its own uh, with a pair of denim and it looks like a really cute top as well, just as a normal top. So when it comes to like spring summer occasion bags, so the bags that I don't use every day, there are two that I really, really love. The first one is this, which is, I think it's 1970s. It's a vintage Dior clutch that was actually given to me by a friend. Um, I keep all like the paper lining in there. It's so, so pretty, I just love it. And again, because I wear quite kind of minimal, generally speaking, more masculine tailoring, I like something like this that has a little bit of pizzazz with it, um, with those outfits. So I absolutely love this. It's kind of like an envelope clutch, so I just tend to carry it like this or hold it. Um, it's made an appearance on my blog several times before. I absolutely love it. And obviously because it's a gift, it's extra special. So that's a nice one for evening. Um, say I'm going out somewhere in the day, perhaps like a beach picnic or something like that. Uh, or brunch, this is a really cute one. This was a basket I found at Melrose Trading Post, which is kind of like a flea market slash vintage stalls and 
um, indie designers here in Los Angeles and I really like the shape of this basket. I feel like the basket bags for a long time I kept seeing but I felt like they all looked too similar to me and while this one isn't massively unique I just like the fact that it had the two the twin handles and it felt more like an actual basket so love that that was a really good find. For work the two bags that I tend to use the most that are real kind of workhorse bags for me um, the first one is this one by Anina Bing. Um, this is the Alice bag and it has a really wide kind of strap on it. So it sits quite high up when it's crossbody, but because it's such a thick, um, what do you call it, thick strap, I feel like it's very, very comfy, especially when I travel. The next one that I have that I go back to a lot and is a real kind of Mary Poppins bag is my Sophie Hall Bolt bag. If I show you the bottom, you can actually see how big and wide this is, it's quite deep. Um, I think this is the medium size, it's the one with the pocket on the back which um, you can pop pieces into and then it's just like a really nice empty shell inside. Obviously you can change the strap so I find it's good because I can wear it crossbody as well um, but I also like that it has a top handle and it feels like a very chic minimal kind of non-branded bag which I really like for every day so love that and that's kind of my go-to work bag. So I'm going to touch on shoes really quickly because I think this video is going to be super long but you will have seen some of them already in kind of various cutaways. Um, so the only new pair I think I've purchased were these ones. These were from Topshop and these are, um, they were really affordable actually, I think they were like $40, uh, £40 even and they are real suede, they're a really nice kind of tan suede leather. Um, the heel is what I would call like pretty much a day heel. It's not too high, so it, it's fairly comfortable. Slingbacks, they go with absolutely every single outfit you've seen here. So just getting this one shoe was kind of all I needed to add into the shoes that I already have and love. So speaking of which, shoes that I already have and love, um, when it comes to flats, I think I brought these about a year ago. Um, they are the Dune slides that are very, very similar to a certain Hermes uh, ones but they are so comfortable. Um, when I'm wearing kind of like a flat shoe, I like that this has a tiny bit of a heel. I find if it's too flat, it's just like wearing ballet flats and I feel like I'm walking barefoot. So I absolutely love these. They're still going strong. And I think you can still buy these. If I can find them, I will put the link below. So there's something about living in Los Angeles that means I can now buy suede shoes on the reg and not worry so much, which is really nice. Um, so I bought these last year. These were from Marge, which is a French designer. Um, again, got them at an outlet. I am such a bargain hunter. Wherever I can get something cheaper, you can bet it, bet yourself, I will find it. Um, it's got the kind of slanted heel that's very similar to the Dior heels, which I really like. Um, and while they kind of are just like a classic pair of black court shoes, the heel is a comfy height and it has that kind of toe cleavage, which I really like. Um, and again, these also go with everything I own and are a really good way to dress up an outfit very quickly. So my party shoe, if you will, which often ends up being with a white tee and jeans, is my most worn item um, if I was going out in the evening, is these shoes. Um, these were from also a Sandra outlet about a year ago. Um, I think I paid like a hundred bucks for them and they're just beautiful. They're black suede, um, quite a high heel for me. So this is like a, I like to call this a dinner shoe in that I get a taxi to the dinner, I sit down at dinner, get a taxi home and then you take them off straight away. But you appreciate how pretty your feet look while you wear them. Um, so these are gorgeous. They have like a gold pearl finish um, and they have kind of got that sling bag but there's also a little tie around here as well. So they do kind of support your feet and they are my fancy shoe. So the other shoe I have that is kind of my fancy shoe but comfy but also there's a chunkiness about it that makes it more casual are these that I brought also from Marge. I think I bought these at like Vista Village like three years ago now and these have really thick, They you'll see them in one of the cutaways I think where I'm wearing the shorts. Um, they just have this amazing strap that goes around the legs and I love these. They kind of feel very kind of Mygella to me. They've definitely got that kind of stompy vibe that toughens up like if I wear them with the gingham dress it definitely kind of toughens it up in a nice way so I do like that juxtaposition of kind of anything too girly I feel like I have to wear something a bit more tough with it and these are that shoot for me and then last but not least are these loafers these are backless loafers that I brought from a brand called Frida Salvador which I absolutely love their stuff all their shoes are gorgeous um, I think I bought these about two years ago and it's woven leather and this just continues to get softer and softer and more comfortable. I think especially because they're kind of backless, they definitely, if I've got a blister from another shoe, these are kind of like a good go-to shoe to let my feet recover. 
Um, the woven leather is so soft and it's literally molded to my feet. So these are a shoe that again, with the jeans, with the kind of khaki pant, I think are really, really nice. They look cute with a t-shirt and shorts as well. Um, even with a little reformation outfit, if I want like a day shoe, these are a really nice option and getting them out again because they did so well last season. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed that little kind of spring summer style haul. Let me know if you would like to see more of these videos. I am planning on going to New York in I think two weeks. Um, so maybe I'll do like a what I'm going to pack for New York, like, like, it'll be like a four day trip. So let me know if that would be of interest. Um, thank you for your patience with this video. I'm hoping the quality kind of works. Um, never sure how you meant to uh, film style videos, but it was fun to do nonetheless. I would love it if you guys subscribe here on YouTube. And don't forget to head over to my Instagram at Harry Makes Up to follow me there. I definitely think I'm going to do a few more little style things over on IGTV as well. Um, especially now I kind of I've enjoyed filming in my office at home as well so let me know what you think let me know if there are any pieces that you guys have your eye on and I'll see you very soon for videos thanks so much guys bye